staying in the same area, we can see that underneath the colour for the background colour and the header and footer background colour, we also have primary colour. Now the primary default colour in the default 2020 template is this red in the menu, which is also repeating itself in these parts and further down with the images or the icons link. Now, if I change that, I can select my own color. And if I'll select, for example, blue, then I can see that the icons have changed and so has the main menu color at the top. The second way of viewing the color is to actually go down and add some CSS. And here we have a CSS sheet, an external style sheet, at which we can actually create more specialized color for some of these headings. So for example, this heading and this heading. And here we need to visit the w3schools.com website in order to look up codes for the different colors. Now there's lots of helpful pages here to help you pick your color. I'm just going to uh, choose one from here and then I'm going to choose one of the codes that go along with this. So I could choose this particular color and here's the code for it. And then if I copy that code, and I go to the style sheet, I go to the style sheet, I can add the code for that and the CSS text is called this. So I'm just gonna cut and paste that. And just to demonstrate more, I'm gonna copy the H1 code as well. And that will actually give me the color green for the headings. So I'm gonna right click and choose copy and then in the custom code section I'm going to paste it and we can see now that the heading the h1 heading here has changed to a dark blue and the body color has changed to blue if I want to change that color I could perhaps alter that by changing one of the other parameters. So for example, I could choose to do um, an H2 tag, and then I'd need one of those brackets to open. I might say color, oops, color, a colon, and then I might choose a yellow for example and if we had a h2 heading down here we can see that i've made the h2 heading yellow so i'll just change that to um, yellow green yellow green and in fact, I can change any of these that I want just by simply identifying where the tag is and changing it accordingly.